Hey guys, it's Rochelle. Um, so today for my video, I'm going to be doing kind of a my first reaction shop with me type video. Um, a town next to mine recently got a new store that originally we had to drive like an hour, if not further to get to. Um, but now we can drive like 15, 20 minutes and it is Marshall's. I am going to be going in and just kind of seeing what they have. I have a goal of buying my five dogs sweaters for this winter. So let's see how this goes. You guys, so we just walked in and the first thing I see is this giant candle. It is ginormous, you guys. And it's $40. <laughs> okay. So that's the first crazy thing. That's my first reaction. Uh, it's kind of cute in here. I wish I could show you guys. I don't know how to switch my camera though, so. Okay, so we just got to the pet section and it's a pretty good size section. <laughs> just kind of doing a little spin around. I don't see any sweaters. It's like a bunch of toys, snacks. Oh wait, Brayden might have found them because he's here with me, you guys. Oh, they do have quite a bit of sweater options. Hmm, I need five. So I'm going to sort through these guys and see what I find. Okay, so I haven't even found a sweater yet. I found these cute little dog socks. They're so cute, but I think that my dogs would probably eat them off. They are $3.99, so that's not bad though. They're so cute, and they've got little rubber thingies. <laughs> okay, so I thought I'd start with my biggest dogs, and I found this. It's only a large. I have a dog named Moose, but he's more of an extra large, and they only have a large, but it would be so cute. So, I can't get that one, because it won't fit him. This one is kind of cute. It's $13, though, and I don't know how much I want to spend on these sweaters. But then they also have a cute little jacket. It is $17, but it's like an actual jacket. Like, this is awkward. And I got it stuck on the buggy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I was taking it off of the hanger. It has like soft on the inside and then it's almost like weatherproofed on the outside and I think it's kind of cute and it comes with a little hood and the hood snaps on it and everything and I don't think $17 is, is bad for something like it feels like it's a good quality so I think that one I might get and try on the dogs and just see how it does okay so I have found one more oh. And it has like the similar feel. It's kind of fuzzy on the inside and it's made of denim on the outside. And I kind of like it for a little girl storm. I think that one I'm going to get too. But other than that, I'm not really seeing anything that's like popping out to me for a good deal. I did see these that I love but they are $30 and I don't want to spend that much on a sweater because my dogs are inside most of the time this is just for when they go use the bathroom or are hanging out outside on the porch with us so I think I'm just gonna stick with getting the two that I showed you guys the denim and the like weatherproofed one I think I'm just going to stick with those two. 
One of my dogs has pretty long fur, so I don't think he necessarily needs anything. But I have a pit that has pretty thin fur, and I think he would end up needing one of these super bad. And um, our little girl also has pretty short fur, and she gets cold pretty easy sometimes. So that's who I want to get the denim one for. The rest of them, I'm not really sure if they would need one yet. It's not been super cold lately. Just every now and then I catch them shivering and I don't feel like... I, I don't, as a dog mom, don't want them to sit there and suffer and be cold. So I think we're going to go look around and see if they have anything else interesting. And I'll show you guys if I find anything. Okay, so one thing that I have found so far that is kind of cute is this. It is a dish brush duck. It says bye bye sticky sponge and rag and bacteria. And it just looks so neat. It's like a multi-use sponge and it's reusable and it's kind of awesome. Okay, so uh, we're still in the cleaning stuff and I found this thing. It is a microfiber mop for hard surface floors and from what I understand you just put cleaner on your floors and then mop over with this thing and it is only $10. We have been using the nasty regular mop, bring it out with your hands, and it's kind of gross, and I don't like doing it, so I don't mop as often as I should, so I wonder if this would be easier, and for $10, I'm trying it. So, we came to look at their snack area, and I found some organic chickpea puffs. And I don't really know what flavor they are, but I mean, they're only $1.99 and I'm up for it. They have four grams of protein and three grams of fiber. They seem like they would be pretty good for you. They're gluten-free, kosher, vegan, no GMO. Mm, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to get them. Um, I've also found these tomato basil, the Daily Crave chips. Um, they're not bad looking. Reading on them, they don't seem too bad for you either. They're also gluten free. They're two seventy nine, not bad at all either. And then Brayden kind of thought uh, that these are cute, you guys. They're little heart-shaped noodles. They are $4. And I don't know. That might be a cute little dinner date night thing. He keeps putting stuff in my buggy as well. Organic. I don't know how to say that word. Um, A-C-A-I. However you guys pronounce that. Please teach me. Somebody. Call me. Teach me. Uh, green tea. I'm not much of a tea person. He likes tea, and it's only $4, so we might look into that as well. We have started to get a little bit of a buggy. I have a shopping problem, and I've only made it through half of the store. <laughs> so, I guess I'll update you guys on what else I find. You guys, I found the candy section, and I'm a little tore up because I, I don't have enough money to buy it all and the candies are kind of expensive these look so good and they are four dollars there is not enough in there for me to pay four dollars no matter how good they look there is so many and I just can't choose one. I've been kind of thinking I might do a little like taste test video for you guys with these snacks that I'm buying. So I want to get some good stuff. Okay, so I found some things I think would be kind of yummy. They are lemon cookies and they are only $2.99. They look delicious. Oh. I'm so excited to try this. 
<laughs> I also found these. Um, they're hazelnut rolled wafers. They are only $2.49 and I love hazelnut and it's usually so expensive. But these look really good. Down to try those as well. And I'm a little iffy about this next one. Don't know if I want to attempt to try it or not. It says that it is plastic free gum. Um, not really sure. It sounds interesting. It just says it's unlike any other gum. It is all natural. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about it. It is watermelon flavored. It has 75 pieces. And it is $2.49. I'm a big gum chewer, but usually I like minty or flavors like that. Um, so I'm not really sure if I'm down for the watermelon, but definitely going to hold on to it and think about it. Okay, so I found something kind of cute that I kind of want to get for a Christmas gift. <laughs> it is a... 55 fluid ounce beer glass I have quite a few friends that I would want to gift this to it is seven dollars but is it really worth seven dollars to be kind of ha ha funny mm, or should I just tell them that I seen it and thought it was funny probably just tell them I'm kind of cheap even though I'm a shopaholic Okay, you guys, so my video accidentally got cut off while I was looking through the rest of the store. Um, I looked through, like, some beauty supplies, and they had some good stuff, but nothing was really grabbing my eyes. Didn't really look through the clothes. Nothing really, like, popped out to me, but we did end up spending $100. And, I mean, we got quite a bit of stuff, so I'm pretty excited to get home and maybe in a couple days sit down with you guys and um try all of our new snacks and stuff that I got um but yeah if you like this video um hit like and subscribe down below and see you guys next time bye